It's the challenge of their lives as thousands apply every year to Border Patrol, but only a few are accepted. CBS 4 Sydney Hernandez was allowed rare access inside the Border Patrol Academy. Their trainees are shaped into strong and responsible agents like Matthew Marquez, a Westlaco native who made it his mission to protect the border. Few are selected. Let's go. Turn it up. Even fewer finish. One of those few is Matthew Marquez, and he isn't your average trainee. Matthew was selected as Border Patrol Academy Class 1094's guide on. It's kind of an honor uh, in PT. Hurry up, hurry up. He goes to the fastest person in the class. Breathe, 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 breathe. So I got to carry, you know, be in front of the formation with our guide on and our, our class flag throughout the academy. And not only is Matthew the fastest, he's also one of the smartest. I would get out of class, I'll do at least an hour of Spanish with some of the other, uh, some of my other classmates, uh, people that were natives, non-natives that needed help. Uh, and then we would study law afterwards as well, about another hour or two, and then operations as well. And he's from right here in the Rio Grande Valley. Six months ago, the Westlaco native traded the warm South Texas life for the cold wind of Artesia, New Mexico. Something I've always want, some of my uh, lifetime goals, to be a law enforcement and then, you know, to come to this prestigious academy. For the last six months, Matthew has spent his time studying, what is Juan buying? Training. God says Border Patrol. And preparing for life as a Border Patrol agent. After two years of waiting through the application process, finally, it was all worth it. I see all my hard work finally paying off, you know, these past six months. Matthew went through multiple tests and background checks before he was accepted into the academy, where he mastered the techniques of firearms, law, Spanish, physical training, driving, and much more. It is difficult. I didn't have any downtime really when I was here at the academy. Difficult, but worth it. So I'll be able to receive my credentials and badge and get to go apply everything I've learned and, you know, really represent what the Border Patrol is out there in the field. Now there's just one last thing to do before stepping out on patrol. They go through struggles here, regardless of who they are or what backgrounds they have. But I think it's rewarding to them that they've earned that badge and that title of a Border Patrol agent. Congratulations. I told you on day one we were not going to give it to you. Did we give it to you? No, no sir. Now that these men and women are ready to protect the borders, never forgetting compassion, honesty, and respect for the uniform. Sometimes we do things that may seem inappropriate to people watching on TV, but uh, know that the uh, board agents that leave here and are out in the field have compassion. They have families, they have loved ones too, and we do have a heart. A heart like that of Marquez, who will be stationed here in South Texas, allowing him to patrol the area he grew up in, all while having his biggest support system nearby. I'm ready, you know, for my next step to hit the field. At the beginning, he did say, Mom, it's tough, um, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not giving up. This is what I've been waiting for. The same moment Matthew's mom has waited for. Matthew's family traveled 800 miles from the valley to see his hard work rewarded. When I saw him, I got very emotional, and I'm sure a lot of the mothers did too, but emotionally because we just lost my mom two weeks ago, and that was one of her things that she wanted was to see Matthew in his green uniform. That green uniform, which represents honor and integrity for Agent Matthew Marquez. This agency is one of the best in the nation. I'm happy that I'm going to begin my career with them. Everything, 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 everything. Something I see as, as a lifetime. Matthew A. Marquez. In Artesia, New Mexico. So help me God. So help me God. With complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4 Valley, tonight. And they definitely earn their stripes. Each agent graduates with 14 certifications and 18 college credit hours. Both part one and part two of Sydney's special report will be posted online at valleycentral.com.